Hi everybody, happy Friday. I know some people out there are a little nervous today because it's Friday the 13th. Ooh. Um, I'm not superstitious, so I like Friday the 13th. And anyway, my son's gonna be 13 this year, so it's a good number. That aside, um, I don't weigh in till tomorrow morning, so this isn't an update. This is going to be a little something I like to call, Let's Get Active People. It's a new segment. I don't know. I'll go with it. But um, I already did my workout, which I'm going to show you. You'll see after you know I talk here, you'll go into my workout. So I reached a, a goal today, which you'll hear later. So I'm really happy about that. And I hope you enjoy it. And like I said, let's get active. Good morning, everybody. I am at the park. I just arrived at the park. I'm going to do a walk this morning. I just wanted to check in with everybody and go over some of my little routine that I do before I work out. just wanted to make sure everybody is safe when they work out and they have what they need. Now, for all of us fair-skinned folks out there and even dark-skinned people as well, you need to have your sunblock. I will be putting this all over myself before I get out there because the sun is hot and it is strong. And I've already burnt like a crisp once this year so far, so I need to make sure I have my sunblock. I also, of course, have the H2O, baby! So I have this with me when I walk so I can keep myself hydrated. And since I do, you know, when I do my physical activity, I have to make sure that I drink a little extra water as well because we're just burning that water off and we, our bodies need water to continue going on. So I'm about to take my walk. Um, I'm definitely, definitely going to do two miles. And if it's not too hot and I'm feeling good, I'm going to go for that third mile. So wish me luck. And let's go do this, people. All right, I'm about to go on the walk. I wanted to add that I like to stretch about 10 minutes before I start doing exercise, stretch everything out, arms, legs, torso, everything, your feet, ankles. It's going to really make a difference when you're walking or running as far as pain and the lactic acid buildup in your muscles. So definitely, definitely stretch out. And when I start walking on the track, I like to go for about one song, got my music. So about one song, about three to five minutes, just walking slow, steady pace. So you warm up your body, warm up your muscles, and then you can really get the, the fast music going and just walk at the fastest pace that you can for to speed your heart rate up. So I'm gonna get started. I wanted to show you guys the track um, a little bit. Basically, it's a really nice park, got a great playground right in the middle, so I can let my son run around and play a lot of times when I come walk. But the, the track goes all the way around the park. Uh, one mile is three laps plus 300 yards. So when I'm doing my two mile walk, I have to go around this track six times. Yes, yeah, six times. So I've conditioned my body to go around six times. Um, it's a little bit of a trek. But in order to do that third mile, I'm going to have to go three more times around the track. So nine times around this track today. I'm hoping to make it at least do more than the six that I usually do. So wish me luck, everybody. Here I go. All right, everybody, I have a little correction to make. I first said one mile is three laps and 300 yards would make a mile. Uh, yeah, actually 300 feet. I was thinking about that. That would be like three football fields. So, so yeah, three laps and 300 feet equals a mile. I'm almost done. Here I come. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I did it, people. I walked the three miles. Woo! I'm not going to tell you a lie. It wasn't easy, especially with the hot sun beating down on me. And for everybody out there who is experiencing cold weather right now, uh, I just want to give you some of this wonderful, sunny, beautiful weather we're having today at the park. I don't know if you can hear the birds tweeting, but it's just, it's gorgeous out here. But it's probably like 80 something degrees, so when you're walking at a brisk pace, 
Woo, gets the sweat going, but that's good. That's why I had my water and uh, I almost finished it all. So I'll definitely be refilling when I get home from my Brita pitcher, of course. Um, I just want to encourage everybody out there. You know, I walked three miles today, but you don't have to start out walking three miles. I couldn't start off walking three miles. So just, I encourage you to just one step at a time, just add some extra activity to your day-to-day -day process. You know, I started out when I first started my journey um, a few years ago, before I could even walk <laughs> that well. Um, I started off just parking further away from the store when I'd go shopping, so I'd have to walk further to the store. Um, you know, when I left something upstairs in the house, instead of being lazy and having my kids go get it for me, which they're really handy at that, um, I'd actually get my butt off the couch and go upstairs and go get it. Sometimes make a, you know, a few extra trips up and down the stairs for no reason, just to get some extra activity. So if I can do it, you guys can do it. And I want to encourage everybody out there, I want to give a shout out to all my Twitter friends and BL12 hopefuls. We can do it, guys. We're not going to give up. And uh, just keep following me, and I'm going to follow you too. See ya!